You Mrs. Lazarus? Yes. I got word someone is waiting to see me. I'm sorry, do I know you? No. Yes. I was one of the jurors at your trial. Oh. You came to make sure I was being punished? No. I... There is something that has been haunting me ever since you were convicted. What? You think I'm innocent? Oh, I know you're guilty. I know you killed that young man and cut off his head and tried to ship it Airborne Express. That is what makes this whole thing so hard. I am a Christian. I know the difference between what is God's will and what isn't. I know that everyone is owed a fair trial, and that means being judged without prejudice. Lady, what are you jabbering about? At your trial, you were not judged without prejudice. So then Mrs. Lazarus says after the jury got sequestered, one of the other jurors, a redneck motherfucker, announced to everybody, this shouldn't take long. This guy's a fag. All fags should be dead. Then he proceeds to bully the rest of them, accusing anyone who wanted to discuss my case of being a fag. Mrs. Lazarus says this juror got them all to vote guilty based solely on the fact that I'm gay. Jesus. What are you gonna do? I figure I got a shot at getting the guilty verdict overturned. Maybe get a new trial. Maybe get the fuck out of here. Minister Saeed? May we talk? What is it that you and I could possibly have to talk about? Oh, you mean because I'm queer? And you Muslims consider homosexuality an abomination? Yes. There you have it. Would you say you're prejudiced against me? No. I pray every day for your kind of final way to God. Seems to me that makes you all the more prejudiced. I mean, I'm not going around asking Allah to turn you into a faggot. What is it that you want? Justice. All right, Chris. Let me lay down the line. Let's go. Let's go. Is your rumor true? You're going to defend that man? Yes, I am. I forbid it. You forbid it? You swore you wouldn't challenge me. Over leadership, Ruth. I did not say that I would subjugate my actions to your will. Harley versus the state. A black man's life sentence was overturned when it's discovered that the judge presiding over the trial was an active member of the Ku Klux Klan. So you think because the juror at my trial made anti-gay remarks, I might get set free. Let's just say at best you can hope for a new trial. Hello, Minister. Mr. Fortunato. My client, Jason Kramer. Hey. Yeah, how you doing? Congrats on winning that lawsuit against the state. All rise for Judge Mason Kessler. You seated? All right, gentlemen, I have read the motion by the plaintiff. I am ready to hear arguments. Your Honor, Jason Kramer is a homosexual, but he was not on trial for that. He was on trial for murder in the first degree, kidnapping, assault with a dangerous instrument. Now, a juror, a, a Mr. Christopher Jacobs, during the jury's deliberations, made continuous defamatory statements to the others regarding Mr. Kramer's sexual orientation. I did not go on and on and on. I made a couple of simple statements. Every one of those people in the jury agreed with me. And was one of those simple statements, this should not take long, that he was a fag, that all fags should be dead. I don't know if I said those words exactly. Before you heard any other evidence, any other witnesses, how were you going to vote? Guilty. Mr. Kramer. Yes, Your Honor? Your lawyers should never have allowed Christopher Jacobs a seat in the jury box. That was their mistake. Normally, I would chalk it up to bad luck on your part and wish you well. But there was a judge presiding at your trial, and he should never have allowed Jacobs to serve. And for that reason, and for that reason only, I am going to grant 
your motion for a new trial. Ah! Your Honor, Your Honor. You can wind to me, Counselor, on the way back to town. In all criminal prosecution, the accused shall enjoy the right to a speedy and public trial by an impartial jury. To be confronted with the witnesses against him and to have the assistance of counsel for his defense. Jason Kramer, you've successfully gotten him a new trial. Yes. I know you've been under a lot of pressure from the other muscles not to get involved with the case. Yes. I think you should listen to them. And you think this because? Last night I had a premonition. Kramer will go free. You know, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna explain to you. Jason Kramer is guilty of murdering his lover. I have seen the trial transcripts and all the evidence. He will be convicted again. Then why did you fight to get him a new trial? The jury voted against Kramer because he was gay. So this whole thing is theoretical for you? There is nothing theoretical about justice. And if Kramer goes free? That's not gonna happen. You better pray you're right. We have a request for a meeting regarding your case. Yeah, a meeting with who? The homicide detective who arrested you. Robert Stransky. Here's the deal. You got this cocksucker in a new trial, right? <laughs> My doctor tells me I got three or four more months to live. Now, before I die, I want to make certain things straight. I want you to know I tampered with the evidence. I couldn't find the murder weapon, so I went to the kitchen. I opened the drawer and took out a kitchen knife, and I smeared it in the blood, and I dropped it next to his body. His fingerprints are all over that knife. <coughs> no. <coughs> no, they weren't. <laughs> My pal in forensics docked it up the test. And you would be willing to give a deposition? to go into court and say this. I know this fuck is guilty as shit, but I want to buy back a piece of my soul. Yeah, if you want me to. I'll yell it from the prison roof. Okay, sweetheart? <sighs> we go public with this information, the press will get a seven-inch boner. Yes. And you say the only witness the guy at Airborne is dead? Yes. I don't know, man. I'm feeling like maybe this could swing in my favor. <laughs> yes. Kramer, I am recusing myself from the case. What, what, what's that mean? It means I am resigning as your lawyer. Immediately. trial of Jason Kramer, who had previously been convicted for the murder of his lover, the jury reached a verdict, finding Kramer not guilty. The Adamsville native, who has served nearly two years, is expected to be released from the Oswald Correctional Facility sometime this week. In other news, the state's jobless rate fell slightly over the past month to 3.8 percent. Preliminary figures released yesterday by the state's Labor Department show that employers created nearly 1,000 new jobs. He's not listening, brother. He is deaf to you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 